All right. So it's here in the Dordogne. Uh, Dordogne. I'm sure how. I never really understood exactly how to pronounce. It. I think it may be Dordogne. Uh, district in France. You have these limestone cliffs, and in the cliffs you can see caves. And during the Ice Age, uh, men went into the caves and painted images on the caves. So we're going to look at uh, some of their, you see the caves there? Ice Age artwork. It's what they call, the uh, artwork we've seen so far is what they call mobile art. Mobile because you can carry it with you. This is cave art because you can't carry it with you because you can't like put the cave in your pocket and walk away. One of the first major finds in cave art was in France, south of France, Lascaux, and these two boys found it. During a storm, their dog had been lost. They went to look for their dog after the storm. The storm had blown over a tree. As a tree had come up out of the ground, it pulled the roots and pulled up an entrance into a cave. So they climbed down into the cave to see if their dog was in there, and uh, they lit a match, and around the walls of the cave were these beautiful cave paintings. So they went and got their schoolmaster here and showed him he knew this was important to find, so he went and got his university professor, Dr. Bruill, and they came. And Dr. Bruill would spend the rest of his life um, mapping out this cave at Lascaux. So if you go down into the hole here, uh, there's actually a passageway, several passageways in Lascaux. The large entrance called the Hall of the Bulls. It's about half the size of this room, ceilings about another four feet higher. And around the walls are depicted these animals, sort of. They're all moving sort of in the same direction like a parade around the walls. And so the idea was some kind of a uh, meeting hall for the Ice Age cultures. So that's the idea. And uh, the large bull there is the auroch, which is the ancestor to the oxen that we have today. But there's also horses and red deer, different kinds. You'll also notice that the images overlap in some areas. So they were painted at different times probably and it wasn't uh, meant for decoration. It, they think it had some kind of spiritual uh, significance beyond just decorating the walls. This animal here is called the unicorn which I never really understood because he's got two horns. And that's what they call it. And it's really even more bizarre because you see this? Unicorn. Right there. But they make much about his extended belly distended belly there and they think it's either pregnant or the fact that the head is different looks like a human head they think it, it may be depicting people dressed in a costume and uh, so for what that's worth but anyway these are images from the hall of the bulls see how they overlap here If you go to Lascaux, you can't see the original cave because the change in, in um, humidity caused by tourists have actually caused it to begin to, to be destroyed. So they've created a replica that you go through. You can't see the actual cave. They excavated the floor of the cave at Lascaux and they found crayons that were used by the Ice Age artist. Uh, not Crayola crayons, but a, it's a mass of wax and animal fat mixed with different types of ochres, powdered rock, then yellows and reds and blacks, and then they would use it to just outline the um, the images, like a like a crayon, a Crayola crayon, I guess, but much larger than that. There's the apprentice there holding the lamp. Looks like he's pretty bored to give light, because it's inside of a cave, right? So you'd have to have some kind of light source. They, they didn't find any evidence in the cave floor that they were living there. None at all. And so the report is that they didn't live in the caves. They went there for some kind of religious ceremony. This is another part of the cave at Lascaux. It's called the... Um, What's it called? The nave. They call this the nave. And if you look at the, the uh, depictions, you can see it's a different style, isn't it? And so it was done, they believe, at a, a, a later time. And the back of the cave at Lascaux is what is called the axial gallery. 
Some call it the Ice Age Sistine Chapel because the ceiling, I think the ceiling's like 16 feet above the floor of the cave, and yet they painted there, so they must have built some kind of scaffolding to be able to paint, like Michelangelo painting the Sistine Chapel. But instead of angels and uh, God creating in all different biblical panels, it's creatures that they would have seen, the red bulls, the uh, horses that inhabited the plains, and so on. Again, at Lascaux, you can see these symbols. Not really sure what they stand for, but it's pretty clear that they're symbols, and they did stand for something beyond image itself. They call these the Chinese horses because they resemble the artwork, the minimalist artwork of the Chinese. They think that these symbols here may be grass. The horses are running through the grass. That's the same horse over there. Yes, those are cave paintings that I did for one of my art classes and I used them to block out that light when I used to have the screen here got a lot of ambient light coming through those windows not doing a very good job today I do have another from Altamira I think about bringing it and putting it over that window of a bull I think I'll show you I'll show you Altamira in a second but anyway this is the Chinese horse second Chinese horse from the cave at Lasco they date uh, the artwork at Lasco, I think, around um, 18,000 18, uh, years B.C., something like that. So it fits within the time of the Cro-Magnon. This is the Roaring Red Deer, also from Lasco. Again, you can see the square box there, the different symbols. The uh, Red Deer shows a technique that the Ice Age artists use. It's similar to an airbrush technique. They would take a, a bird bone. Bird bones are hollow, and they would fill it full of pigment, and then they would blow a puff of breath through it, and it would shoot the pigment onto the wall and create a stencil-like pattern. And so they outlined the red deer, and they created this sort of fuzzy appearance on the interior by using these Ice Age uh, airbrushes. But anyway, this is the beautiful axial gallery of Lascaux, the Ice Age Sistine Chapel.